What's going on guys, Leon Bratz here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up better Twitch TV or BT TV for short. Now, BTTV is an extension which goes onto your browser, whether that's Google Chrome, etc. And basically what it does, it just means that you can see a lot more emotes on Twitch and there's a few more features as well. But just bear in mind, this is for desktop only and this video is for viewers on Twitch and streamers as well. We're going to cover pretty much everything that BTTV has to offer. So yeah, this one's for everyone that uses Twitch on desktop, basically. <laughs> If you do find this video helpful, then please do smash the like button and make sure you hit subscribe as well. But without further ado, let's jump onto the PC and let's start setting up BTTV. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go on to betterttv.com or what you can just do is scroll down, go into the description of this video and just click the link. That'd be so much easier. But once you are on betterttv.com, all you need to do is literally go download for Chrome. You can change the browser here if you need to. Click on here and then you can change the browser to whatever you need it. Um, I use Chrome, so I'm just going to click on download for Chrome. And once you have clicked on download for Chrome, that'll take you to another page where you just need to add the extension onto your Chrome browser. It's super, super simple. Once you've done that, come back to this page and then you can go up to the top right and click on log in. After you've clicked on log in, you will have to authorize it with Twitch. Don't worry. So many people use this website. Just authorize it with Twitch and then you'll come to this page just here. Although you won't have any emotes, you have nothing here. You'll have nothing here at all for the first time. So once you've authenticated BTTV with Twitch, if you are a regular viewer on Twitch and you're not a streamer, then this is pretty much all you need to do. You literally don't need to do anything else. The rest of this tutorial is going to be for streamers, but there is going to be a chapter at the end of this video, which goes through the settings on Twitch for BTTV. There's nothing you really need to do. But if you wanted to check that out, you could just skip ahead in the chapters below the video and then go and see that part of the video as well. But like I said, if you are just setting up BTTV as a regular viewer on Twitch, this is pretty much all you need to do. So for the next few chapters of this video, this is going to be for the streamers and we're going to go through a little bit of information about emotes on BTTV and Twitch. We're going to also go through how to install BTTV emotes onto Twitch. We're going to go through how to upload custom emotes onto Twitch. We're going to go through how to link your Discord server to BTTV and then finally we're going to go through some of the BTTV settings at the end of the video. So the next part of this video is just a little bit of information about emotes on BTTV and Twitch. So if you're only just getting started with streaming on Twitch and and you're not even a Twitch affiliate yet, then you have access to zero emotes, zero. With BTTV installed, you have access to 15 custom emotes and 15 global shared emotes at the same time. This means that you have up to 30 emote slots to use on Twitch and 30 emote slots for not even being affiliated on Twitch is huge. So there's just no reason why you wouldn't have the BTTV extension installed into your Twitch channel. Okay, so the next thing is how do we actually install BTTV emotes onto our Twitch channel? Let's jump back onto the PC and I'll walk you through everything. Okay, so we're onto the PC now and we're on the home page. So if we just click on dashboard and then emotes just here, you will see zero out of 15 and zero out of 15 just here. I've got 62 available on each because I actually use the pro version. And you can see for me personally that I have up to 62. This is because I've actually got better TTV Pro. It's only like five pounds a month and you get so many more emotes that you can use. Now, the main emotes that I use on my channel are Keck W. We've got Cat Jam, mm -hmm. we've got this Haste Slow and a few other ones that can be used as well. And when you type these into your Twitch chat, you must make sure that you've got the capital letters in the right place. Otherwise, it just won't work at all. Um, I will show you, for example, let me just go to Twitch. Let's just go to my Twitch channel here and let's type in, for example, Cat Jam. We're going to put a capital C here. This is wrong. This is the wrong emote. So if I type that in just like that, that's not going to come up. If I type it in properly, you will see that it comes up just like that in the chat. That is the catch jam there. So yeah, these must be typed correctly because as you can see, if you type it wrong, they're not going to work. So how do we actually install BTTV emotes? So if we click up here, just at the top, we click on emotes and then the top emotes here, you can see whichever ones you want to put into your channel. I wouldn't go with anything that's too kind of intrusive into the chat, like blob dance. I don't really like blob dance because it, if people spam that and there's so many of them, it's just so off putting. Um, but yes, for instance, we can have cat jam. If you wanted to install cat jam, all you need to do is literally 
literally click on cat jam and then you can click on here which will say like add to channel or something like that click on that and that is it that is all you need to do and then to get even more you just click back and then you can click on say papega for example and look it says here add to channel click on add to channel and then that'll be it so if we do that actually so let's click add to channel because this one's not actually on my channel at the moment let's click add to channel and then for the ease of this video and not doing it wrong so i don't get roasted by all you lot i'm just going to copy that we're going to go over to switch and sometimes this does take a while to to actually update maybe like 10 15 minutes so we're going to hope i just tried typing in papega there and it yeah it does take a few minutes it's to, to actually update and send all the information over to Twitch channel. Um, so yeah, maybe like 10, 15 minutes, that should, that should be working. But yeah, that is how you do it. Everything should work like it should do by just clicking add to channel just there. But I'm gonna remove that from the channel because we're not gonna be using that one. But yeah, that is how to do all your remotes and you get 15 of those which you can use. But if you pay for the pro version, then you can have up to like 62, like what I've got on my on my dashboard. So the next thing is how do we actually upload emotes, like our own custom emotes? So to do this, all we need to do is click on dashboard up the top of the screen once again, and then we can click on upload emote here. I don't have any emotes uploaded, although I could have like 62, which is so many emotes. But yeah, I've actually still got a few spaces available on my actual Twitch channel. So that's why I haven't bothered or I haven't, haven't even made any more emotes to go onto BT TV. We could do some for like maybe GIFs or animated emotes. That would work. That would be good. Although Twitch does allow five animated emotes for partners at the moment. Um, but yeah, to add any more than that, we would be able to do it through BT TV. But they'd have to be 112 pixels by 112 pixels. But you can upload your custom emotes like this on BT TV. It's nice and easy. They do have to go through some sort of approval, whether that's automatic approval or a manual approval, depending on how the system looks at your emote. But yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. It should be nice and easy. It should be pretty straightforward to get those emotes onto your channel. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually link our Discord server to BTTV. This just means that all of our Discord members could use all these emotes on Discord from our channel, and it will say that it's from our channel. So here we go. All you need to do is click on connections just here. So dashboard, then connections, and then you need to just sync your Discord server. Just go through the steps of that. It's nice and easy. There's nothing much to it. Just get your Discord server. If you haven't got your own Discord server as a Twitch creator or a Twitch streamer, you need to go and set one up. You really, really do. It's a great place to get your community into them and involved. And it's, it's great for offline stuff. It's really, really, really beneficial for your Twitch channel. Trust me, get yourself a Discord server. And then the last thing we're going to look at in this video are the BTTV settings over on Twitch. So if we load up Twitch once again, and we can either get to the settings from clicking on your name at the top and clicking on better TTV settings, or you can just click the cog at the bottom right in chat settings, and then you can click better TV, better TV. TV setting just there. And this is going to load up. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really done much in the settings. I've kind of left it how it is. But you're more than welcome to flick through these and turn on or turn off whichever ones you want. And that's pretty much it. You've got directory settings here, channel settings, and emote dashboard, which is going to take you back to the actual dashboard for BT TV instead of having to go through betterttv.com and then going into the dashboard. You can just go for it straight from, straight from Twitch. And that's pretty much it. To be honest, that is pretty much it. So there we go, guys. That is how to set up the BTTV extension on your desktop for your Twitch channel. And yeah, it's super, super easy. This is a uh, pretty quick tutorial today. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that like button as hard as you can and subscribe for more videos like this every single week. Okay, enjoy the streaming. Enjoy watching Twitch if you're just a viewer and you're watching this video. Um, yeah, take it easy. Thank you for watching this week's video and I'll see you next week. Peace out. Bye, 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 bye.